In the heart of the Islamic Golden Age, amid the bustling streets of a bygone era, one name shone brightly as a beacon of knowledge and innovation. His legacy continues to shape our world today, yet his story remains a hidden gem of history. Ibn Sina, known in the West as Avicenna, was a polymath, a philosopher, a physician, and a scientist. His remarkable intellect transcended the boundaries of his time, and his contributions spanned multiple fields of study. Born in the 10th century in the Persian city of Afshana, Ibn Sina's journey would take him from the dusty libraries of his youth to the courts of powerful rulers and eventually, to the pages of history as one of the most influential scholars of all time. In this documentary, we embark on a journey through time to unravel the life and works of Ibn Sina. We'll explore his groundbreaking medical treatises, delve into his philosophical musings, and discover the enduring impact of his ideas on medicine, science, and the world as we know it. Join us as we unlock the mysteries of this enigmatic genius, whose intellectual prowess illuminated the past and continues to guide our quest for knowledge and understanding in the present day. This is the story of Ibn Sina, a man who, against all odds, became a timeless symbol of intellectual curiosity and human achievement. Ibn Sina was born in the year 980 CE in the city of Afshana, part of the Samanid Empire, in what is now Uzbekistan. His full name was Abu Ali al Hussein ibn Abd Allah ibn Sina. He was born into a Persian family known for their scholarly lineage. His father recognized his exceptional intellect and arranged for his early education. At a young age, Ibn Sina displayed a prodigious aptitude for learning. He quickly mastered the Quran, Arabic, and Persian literature. By the age of 10, he had already memorized the Quran. He was particularly drawn to philosophy and scientific subjects, showing a deep curiosity about the natural world. By the age of 16, Ibn Sina had embarked on a quest for knowledge that would take him on a lifelong journey of learning. He began to travel extensively in search of scholars and libraries where he could further his education. This period of his life was marked by a thirst for knowledge and a determination to acquire a profound understanding of various subjects. During his travels, Ibn Sina studied under several renowned teachers and scholars, absorbing knowledge from a wide range of disciplines. He explored subjects such as mathematics, astronomy, chemistry, medicine, and philosophy. His intellectual pursuits during these early years laid the foundation for his later scholarly achievements. Ibn Sina's early education and travels instilled in him a love for learning and a passion for intellectual pursuits that would shape the course of his life. His insatiable curiosity and dedication to knowledge would propel him to become one of the most influential scholars of his time. One of Ibn Sina's most enduring contributions was in the field of medicine. During his travels and studies, he gained extensive knowledge of medical practices from various regions, including the works of Galen, the ancient Greek physician. Ibn Sina's monumental work, The Canon of Medicine, al Qanan fi al-Tib, became his most celebrated achievement. This comprehensive medical encyclopedia, completed around the year 1025 CE, synthesized medical knowledge from various sources, including Greek, Roman, Persian, and Indian texts. The canon, consisted of five volumes and covered a wide range of medical topics, including Anatomy and Physiology Ibn Sina's work featured detailed descriptions of human anatomy and physiological functions, drawing on his observations and knowledge from previous medical texts. Pharmacology The canon, provided an extensive catalogue of medicinal substances, their properties, and their uses in treating various ailments. It also introduced the concept of dosage and the importance of the physician's understanding of pharmacology. Diagnosis and treatment. Ibn Sina emphasized the importance of clinical observation and diagnosis. He introduced a systematic approach to diagnosing diseases, considering factors such as patient history, physical examination, and the use of diagnostic tests. Preventive medicine. He discussed the importance of preventive medicine, including dietary guidelines and lifestyle recommendations to maintain health and prevent disease. Surgery. Ibn Sina's work included discussions on surgical procedures and instruments used in surgery, contributing to the advancement of surgical knowledge. The Canon of Medicine was a groundbreaking medical text that remained a standard reference in both the Islamic and Western worlds for centuries. It had a profound impact on the development of medieval European medicine and served as a comprehensive guide to medical practice and education. 
Ibn Sina's contributions to medicine not only advanced the field during his time but also left a lasting legacy that continues to influence medical practice and education to this day. His emphasis on evidence-based medicine and systematic approaches to diagnosis and treatment set a high standard for medical scholarship. In addition to his achievements in medicine and the natural sciences, Ibn Sina made significant contributions to philosophy. He was deeply influenced by the works of ancient Greek philosophers, particularly Aristotle and Neoplatonism. Ibn Sina sought to reconcile Greek philosophical thought with Islamic theology and metaphysics. One of his major philosophical works is, The Book of Healing, Kitab al-Shifa. This extensive work is divided into several sections, covering a wide range of topics, including Metaphysics. Ibn Sina explored questions about the nature of existence, the soul, and the relationship between the material and spiritual worlds. He developed a complex metaphysical system that drew from Neoplatonic ideas. Ethics. In, The Book of Healing, Ibn Sina discussed ethics and the moral development of individuals. He examined virtues, vices, and the pursuit of the good life. Logic and epistemology. He made significant contributions to the study of logic and epistemology, laying the groundwork for later Islamic and Western scholars in these areas. Ibn Sina's philosophical works, including, The Book of Healing, were instrumental in introducing Greek philosophical thought to the Islamic world. His attempts to synthesize Greek philosophy with Islamic theology had a profound impact on later Islamic philosophy and thought. Ibn Sina's influence extended beyond his own lifetime. His works were translated into Latin during the Middle Ages, contributing significantly to the revival of classical learning in Europe. He became known in the West as Avicenna, and his writings played a key role in the development of scholastic philosophy in medieval Europe. Figures like Thomas Aquinas were influenced by his ideas. His medical encyclopedia, The Canon of Medicine, remained a standard textbook in Europe for centuries and influenced the education of many physicians. In the Islamic world, his contributions in both medicine and philosophy continued to be studied and respected. Ibn Sina's legacy is a testament to his extraordinary intellect and the enduring impact of his ideas on fields as diverse as medicine, philosophy, science, and theology. His ability to bridge different intellectual traditions and synthesize knowledge from various sources left an indelible mark on the history of thought and scholarship. Ibn Sina's intellectual prowess and reputation as a scholar attracted the attention of rulers and leaders in various regions. He became a prominent figure in the courts of several Islamic empires during his lifetime. One of his most significant patronage relationships was with the Samanid ruler Na ibn Mansur. Ibn Sina served as Na's personal physician and advisor, which allowed him to continue his scholarly pursuits. During this time, he also completed some of his major works, including parts of the Canon of Medicine. After the Samanids, Ibn Sina entered the service of the Bayid dynasty, where he continued to hold positions as a physician and advisor. His association with these rulers afforded him the opportunity to engage in intellectual discussions, access valuable resources, and promote the dissemination of knowledge. Ibn Sina's later years were marked by his continued commitment to scholarship and his prolific output of writings. He authored numerous treatises, covering a wide range of subjects, from mathematics and astronomy to theology and poetry. In 1037 CE, Ibn Sina passed away in Hamadan, Iran, at the age of 56. His death marked the end of an era in the Islamic Golden Age, but his legacy endured through his writings and the scholars he had influenced. Ibn Sina's legacy is profound and multifaceted. His contributions to medicine, philosophy, science, and various other fields had a lasting impact. To summarize his legacy, medicine, his canon of medicine, continued to be a standard medical textbook for centuries, influencing medical practice and education in both the Islamic world and Europe. Philosophy. Ibn Sina's philosophical works introduced Greek philosophical thought to the Islamic world and left a significant imprint on the development of Islamic philosophy. Science. His contributions to mathematics, astronomy, and the natural sciences advanced knowledge in these fields. Bridge between cultures. Ibn Sina's translations of Greek texts and his own writings served as a bridge between the intellectual traditions of the ancient Greeks and the Islamic world, contributing to the transmission of knowledge. Influence on Europe. His works played a pivotal role in the revival of classical learning in medieval Europe and influenced prominent Western philosophers and scholars. 
Ibn Sina's life and works exemplify the spirit of intellectual curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge that characterized the Islamic Golden Age. His ideas continue to resonate and inspire scholars and thinkers across the world, making him a central figure in the history of human knowledge and thought. Influence on later Islamic scholars Ibn Sina's writings and ideas continued to be studied and expanded upon by later Islamic scholars. His works became essential texts in the curriculum of Islamic madrasas, educational institutions, and contributed to the development of various branches of Islamic scholarship. Impact on Western Renaissance During the European Renaissance, when there was a revival of interest in classical learning, Ibn Sina's works were translated into Latin and became instrumental in the development of Western philosophy, medicine, and science. His influence can be seen in the works of prominent Western thinkers such as Thomas Aquinas. Modern medicine. While some of his medical practices have been superseded by modern medical knowledge, Ibn Sina's emphasis on empirical observation, systematic diagnosis, and the importance of pharmacology laid the foundation for evidence-based medicine. His legacy continues to influence medical education and practice. Philosophical relevance. Ibn Sina's philosophical ideas, particularly his contributions to metaphysics and ethics, remain topics of interest and study in contemporary philosophy, especially in discussions related to the integration of faith and reason. Cultural icon. Ibn Sina is celebrated as a cultural icon in many countries, particularly in the Islamic world and Central Asia. His life and contributions are the subject of literature, art, and cultural festivals. Monuments and institutions. Several monuments, universities, and research institutions have been named after Ibn Sina, emphasizing his enduring significance. For example, there is the Avicenna Mausoleum in Hamadan, Iran, and the Ibn Sina Academy of Medieval Medicine and Sciences in India. Ibn Sina's legacy is not confined to a particular time or place, it transcends borders and cultures. His intellectual curiosity, commitment to knowledge, and ability to bridge diverse intellectual traditions continue to inspire generations of scholars, scientists, and thinkers worldwide. He remains a symbol of the enduring quest for understanding and the boundless potential of human intellect. Here are a few more aspects of Ibn Sina's legacy and ongoing relevance. Cross-cultural dialogues. Ibn Sina's works and ideas exemplify the rich tradition of cross-cultural dialogues and knowledge exchange that characterized the Islamic Golden Age. He not only synthesized Greek, Persian, and Arabic knowledge but also engaged in a broader intellectual dialogue that transcended geographical and cultural boundaries. This spirit of intellectual openness and exchange serves as a model for fostering intercultural understanding and collaboration in today's globalized world. Scientific Methodology Ibn Sina's emphasis on systematic observation, experimentation, and evidence-based reasoning in both medicine and the natural sciences laid the foundation for modern scientific methodology. His approach to inquiry, characterized by a commitment to empirical evidence and rigorous analysis, continues to be a fundamental principle of scientific inquiry today. Inspiration for Future Generations Ibn Sina's life story and achievements continue to inspire individuals, particularly those interested in pursuing careers in medicine, philosophy, and the sciences. His story serves as a reminder of the transformative power of education and the potential for individuals to make significant contributions to human knowledge and society. Respect for Diverse Perspectives Ibn Sina's ability to synthesize diverse intellectual traditions and incorporate ideas from various sources underscores the value of respecting and engaging with diverse perspectives. In an increasingly interconnected world, his example encourages a spirit of openness to different cultures, traditions, and viewpoints. Preservation of Knowledge Ibn Sina played a crucial role in preserving and transmitting knowledge from classical antiquity to later generations. His translations of Greek texts, commentaries, and original works ensured that valuable intellectual heritage was passed down to subsequent scholars, contributing to the continuity of human intellectual progress. Continued Scholarship Scholars and researchers continue to study Ibn Sina's works and contributions, uncovering new insights and interpretations. This ongoing scholarship reflects the enduring relevance of his ideas and their potential to inform contemporary discussions in various fields. In summary, Ibn Sina's legacy extends beyond historical recognition, it offers valuable lessons and inspiration for today's world. His commitment to the pursuit of knowledge, his interdisciplinary approach, and his role as a bridge between different intellectual traditions make him a timeless figure whose influence continues to shape our understanding of the world and the possibilities of human achievement.
In the later years of his life, Ibn Sina continued to be actively engaged in scholarly activities. He had established a reputation as a renowned physician, philosopher, and scholar, and he held positions as a court physician and advisor to rulers. During this period, he continued to write and compile numerous treatises on various subjects, further expanding his body of work. His influence extended beyond the boundaries of his immediate region, and his writings were highly regarded both within the Islamic world and beyond. Ibn Sina passed away in the year 1037 CE in the city of Hamadan, in present-day Iran. He was 56 years old at the time of his death. The exact cause of his death remains a subject of historical debate, with various accounts suggesting different factors, including illness and complications related to his hectic life and extensive travels. Ibn Sina's death marked the end of an era in the Islamic Golden Age. He left behind a legacy of intellectual achievement that would continue to resonate through his writings and the scholars he had inspired. His passing was mourned by scholars and intellectuals of his time, and his contributions continued to be celebrated in the centuries that followed. Ibn Sina's enduring influence on fields such as medicine, philosophy, science, and intercultural dialogue ensures that his name and contributions remain relevant and respected in the annals of human history. His commitment to the pursuit of knowledge and the advancement of human understanding serves as an enduring source of inspiration for generations to come. In closing, the life and legacy of Ibn Sina, also known as Avicenna, exemplify the boundless power of human intellect and the enduring impact of knowledge. His insatiable curiosity, interdisciplinary approach, and commitment to the pursuit of understanding left an indelible mark on the fields of medicine, philosophy, science, and beyond. Ibn Sina's story serves as a testament to the importance of cross-cultural dialogue, the preservation of knowledge, and the spirit of intellectual inquiry that transcends boundaries and enriches the tapestry of human civilization. His ability to bridge different intellectual traditions and to synthesize ideas from diverse sources continues to inspire scholars, thinkers, and learners across the globe. As we reflect on his life, let us draw inspiration from Ibn Sina's unwavering dedication to the quest for knowledge and understanding. May we embrace the spirit of curiosity, engage with diverse perspectives, and continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge, just as this great polymath did in his time. Ibn Sina's legacy serves as a timeless reminder that the pursuit of wisdom is a journey with no final destination, and that each generation has the potential to build upon the knowledge of the past, enrich the present, and shape the future.